what's up this is chosen and this video is going to be a deep dive into the relentless set so let's get into it all righty so the first thing i want to do is pull up the sets tier list here i will link to this in a pinned comment so you can find it nice and easy but you will see here on the sets tier list i've got relentless all the way up there at number three it is a very impactful set 18 percent chance to grant an extra term which is an extremely strong effect but it is tough uh, to acquire the set. You can really only get it from tournament rewards. You see there under acquisition, it says tournament rewards. I'll show you that in game. So the best way, really the only way, I can't remember uh, if they do sell Relentless Set in offers, it's very rare. I can't think of a time off the top of my head where they sold the Relentless Set itself. I'm sure they have at some point, but I don't remember. So uh, yeah, typically the only way to acquire it is going to be in game finishing high in tournaments like this one here you see champion training and then the top six people out of the group of 100 are going to be getting a relentless set reward and then as you go up here you go all the way up to from rare to epic to six star and then six star legendary for number one so lots of times in these tournaments that's where you can get the relentless set and uh, the the golem is going to be the easiest route to get the relentless set in my opinion because the ice golem is by far the least grinded dungeons by people that are going to be spending money um on the game and on energy to grind dungeons so the ice golem is your best opportunity when those tournaments come through uh that's usually your cheapest way to get a hold of relentless pieces is finishing very highly ranked in ice golem tournaments but yeah in terms of mechanics as you see here i've got it pulled up now it's pretty simple 18 percent chance to grant an extra turn but one thing i do want to make sure and point out is this was slightly changed a little bit ago back in july of 2020 let me get this pulled up here so this is going to be a patch note post by marius who is a community manager for raid shadow legends and this is back in january of 2020 if we scroll all the way down in these patch notes there is a change to relentless set right here you can see our relentless set no longer provides an extra turn if the champion already received an extra turn by other means, which is their own skill or the skills of their abilities proccing that effect. Now, they do clarify this a little bit if you're confused. Champions can still get multiple turns via the Relentless set. However, uh, where before the engine calculated both extra turns from the skill and the Relentless set at the same time and then saved that effect to be used immediately after the first one, now it will only calculate the extra turn from the Relentless set or the champion skill at a uh, single given instance once that extra turn has been attained the engine will no longer attempt to calculate the additional extra turns but if the champion gets an extra turn from the relentless set and then uses their skill after that which gives them another turn it will work exactly as intended and vice versa so uh that's a little bit complicated to understand but basically uh you're not going to be able to stack multiple extra turns from relentless set and one of your skills and then use them back to back so a skill that grants an extra turn uh will not also proc the relentless and do both those turns back to back you can only get one of those effects at a time from each ability but they can still snowball uh once you do it it will reset that and you can go back to getting a relentless proc after that it's it's hard for me to word that in a way where it makes perfect sense i hope i explained it uh in a way that you can understand i will link to that post down below in a pinned comment if you want to be able to read that over yourself and read through the comments and, and see that text uh you know for your own and, and kind of reread it again so i'll link that to that down below in a pinned comment if you want to go over that and one thing i do want to kind of touch on is there seems to be like an in-game block in terms of how many extra turns you can get i can't really test this with relentless because it's too hard to get like five or ten turns in a row from relentless but i'm going to show you something fun i kind of was doing in preparation for this video and i was testing relic keeper here uh, because he gets an extra turn in the spider den because he just kills these spiderlings over and over he's got the ability here uh, on the a1 he's gonna grant an extra turn every time a target is killed which by the way side note relentless isn't always amazing in the spider den because it counts as an extra turn every single time you proc the relentless so every time you proc relentless the spider is going to summon two spiderlings so the spiderlings can get out of control a little bit if you start using a bunch of relentless sets so it's one thing to kind of take note of but yeah i want to show you something fun here in the spider den with relic keeper so he's going to get an extra turn every time he gets a kill which is every time he hits a spiderling so you would think he should get extra turns infinitely but he doesn't sometimes it blocks it at five and sometimes it's ten so it's very weird there's some sort of a block 
at either five turns or ten turns as to when his extra turn procs will stop so i'll show you here we go one and two three four and then five sometimes it'll stop right here five and boom you can see there he gets cut in and it, and it stops him from taking an extra turn after the fifth one but then for whatever reason sometimes it'll let you go ten times we go one two three four five yeah see now it's gonna let me go to ten it won't stop me at six seven eight or nine it'll let me go to ten so six you can see the, the extra turn above his head seven it looks exactly the same when it's relentless said it it'll say like the extra turn above your head eight nine and then after this one it will cut him in it'll block it at 10 10 and he'll get cut in right here the spider links start coming in so yeah it's just something fun i wanted to show you that i kind of noticed when i was testing and preparing for this video so then who are the optimal champions that should be wearing the relentless set uh the number one relentless uh set user in the game was for a long time rodos the lost groom uh he has since been kind of nerfed uh, uh pretty badly so he he doesn't see a whole lot of action anymore but he was the most notorious wearer of the relentless set but basically you're gonna want to i've got kaimar pulled up here as, as an example uh somebody who you want them to cycle through their abilities as fast as possible and they also have a very impactful a1 i've got my kaimar in a stun set uh just because that's how I, I the best gear i had to speed tune him but he's very good in a relentless at some point i want to speed tune him and, and get him uh switched over to a relentless set but yeah he's got an impactful a1 because it's aoe and it places poisons and also cycling through his abilities um faster than his allies is great because he can reset the seal of magic as often as possible which in turn is going to reset the cooldowns of our entire team and then let them get their abilities off that much more often over the course of a dungeon run or a faction wars uh, or any sort of a long f uh, arena fight anything like that so anybody that you want to cycle through their abilities that has an impactful a1 uh is going to be a great user for the relentless set and the reason I threw in that uh, qualifier of an impactful A1 is because recently, uh, here's an example I'll show you where the, re the reflex set can actually be better than the relentless set depending on the situation and the champion because uh, I was doing a faction war strat in the Ogren tribes where uh, I was getting eviscerated by poisons because I was using that legendary champion, Gurp Tuck, that places a bunch of poisons on your own team, but you get some benefits of, of that. You do more damage to enemies and stuff. But my team was getting ravaged by poisons so i needed grush to cycle through to his healing ability as often as possible to place these continuous heals on the whole team to counteract those poisons i needed him to cycle through his abilities a lot faster than gurp tuck was and get those continuous heals placed as often as possible so i thought about using relentless but i switched to reflex instead because his a1 is not that impactful the only place i was struggling was the boss fight and he's keeping leech up permanently basically no matter what and he doesn't hit super hard so i wasn't getting a whole lot of impact out of the a1 the more important thing uh the more the more important effect of that strategy was cycling through the abilities which that means reflex is going to outshine relentless because it's 25 percent versus 18 percent when you're just talking about cycling through your abilities as fast as possible if the a1 effect isn't that impactful so which champions are not optimal and maybe you should think twice before wearing the relentless set uh there's a couple different scenarios where this this would be the case now in general the relentless set is very good and most times you can't really go wrong by putting a really well rolled relentless set on somebody but there are some certain circumstances like if you've got a very finely tuned strategy that is based on a very specific rotation of abilities within a team this is most notably going to be in the clan boss if you've got a counter-attack composition or an unkillable composition you need your abilities to go in a very specific rotation and be set up in a very specific way over the course of a long fight so that they can stay locked in on that certain rotation and if you start putting relentless sets on people you can start throwing off those rotations when people start taking extra turns and everything can kind of go haywire and you can mess up a finely tuned strategy also champions that really need the effect of the set bonuses like a Lissandra. she wants a lot of speed you want to get her as fast as possible so she really needs the 36 speed that she is getting from these six pieces of the speed set so 
uh, subtracting 24 of that speed is going to be really impactful and it's going to make it a lot harder for her to go first in the arena. So if you're trying to uh, be as fast as possible or you really need a massive set bonus on somebody, which is going to be most notably getting all of that speed in a, in a team that's designed to be as fast as possible. In that situation, Relentless may not be as optimal as the speed set like in this scenario where you're trying to really get those three set bonuses to pump up that speed and really stack one specific stack or even somebody like a duchess who's trying to get a ton of resistance it may be optimal to get a couple resistance sets on her because that's 40 or 80 resistance and that might be more impactful than her getting the extra turns if you can keep her with that insane resistance to not get debuffed by your opponent so so yeah there are some very specific situations where relentless may not be the most optimal choice but it's a great set and in general you can't really go wrong by putting a really good relentless set on somebody so yeah that's gonna do it for this one and remember down below i will have a link to the set tier list and now i will go ahead and get the relentless video added on there which means i have done uh videos on the top four sets plus also the stun i'm gonna slowly be trying to fill this out and uh, i will also link that post down below of when they rework the relentless set so you can read through that if you would like to because i tried to word it as best i could and explain it to you guys but it's really wordy and it's kind of a wonky thing to explain so i hope i did okay if you have any questions drop it down below or show up on stream and we can talk about it and i'll also link to that post if you would like to reread it so that's gonna do it for this one as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace